Hey guys, this is Garis. Welcome back to another episode of Survivor Done. We are back here in Subnautica, and once again, we have a weird start. So, sorry, we are in a pause menu. I was out looking for an anemone to craft these things. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we I went to a mega station to place one of these um, beacons, and I thought while I added while I'm at it, let me look for the anemones. And at some point, I stumbled across that unidentified woman, and she just started speaking to us. So I saved and quit to come back another day when I'm recording because I wasn't prepared to record that day. Um, I was just prepping for resources. I think we just finished recording um, the previous episode where we did what? I can't remember even now. But anyway, so I saved, I quit, and I came back today and I remembered, oh yeah, that's what's going on here and that's why we have all the messages and stuff. So, um, first me uh, message from a PDA is warning, passing 300 meters, blah, blah, blah. Unidentified women, didn't I tell you to stay away? Robin, from what? I don't even know who you are. Okay, so let's get back to it. Let's hear a story and then we need to go grab our laser cutter and it back or maybe i'll pause the recording so that i finish building this that what i was planning to do between episodes but unfortunately because i was at a crucial point in the game i couldn't actually progress so i officially decided that we're not going to play this game off game at all except for building the base etc uh, because any exploration has a chance of triggering an event even alan talks to us so in a previous episode we started where Alan spoke to us after we woke up. I was not expecting that, so I don't really want to do things that would miss out on the storyline for you guys. So, um, I'll only prep base building and resource gathering off cam. Exploration and all that will happen on cam. As you can see at the right hand side, there's another sign. So, Alan spoke to us off cam, and I thought, okay, it's fine. I can continue that i'll play it when we in and then this lady started talking so i thought no that's enough um things that are happening without you guys present so enough rambling from my side let's jump in let's hear what the woman says i don't even know who you are marguerite made is the name you're on my turf great can i come in and warm up what part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Okay, apparently she's over there. Okay, so let's quickly catch up on what happened. A lot of things happened. Okay, I was out to resource gathering. I found magnetite and uranium crystal while I was looking for the anemones. Got a few gel sacks because we can't grow that as I was expecting. Okay, personal log. Let's see. Gift of a sea monkey. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. Not only have they stopped stealing, they brought me something I actually needed. I may have to revise my opinion of them. Okay, so um, we need lead for this, and I actually brought me lead. <laughs> so they come up to you with lead. There, you go. there it is. So they come up to you and they hand it to you. So that's kind of cool. So they don't steal, as she just said. Um, let's go back here. What's the other things? Tech, vehicles, prawn suit. Okay, we got that together and other things. Research, magnetite. We got assessment essential, essential for advanced fabrication. Scattered wreckage. Found some then for their titanium content at the fabricator. Okay, cool. Uranite applications in nuclear power. Okay, good indigenous life forms fauna nude fish harmless with its colorful what looks like okay land okay that's what we scan see no what was the other thing oh voice logs uh, detecting both astronomy vessel mercury allen you came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Okay, that's here at the Omega site. 
and then this is a previous thing it said. I have determined the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Okay, so that's when this beacon showed up. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that. I noticed that it said here at the top left when we started the episode. It says topo topographic and biomes created. So I didn't know that. That's nice. Now we kind of know what's going on. Cool. Okay. So now we have a bunch of signals. Let's switch this one off. Okay. So if you'll see if I have... Oh, you have to bring me some titanium. If you don't take it, apparently they just drop it. They said, thank you very much, monkey. Um, I tried giving it something as well. Like something in return, but I can't slot it for them to take so I'm not sure if we can give them something okay so let's save right here and let's make a decision to go there because before we run out of air see there's a beacon light and our sea truck is way over there maybe we can come down up to here There's a bunch of these, uh, what do you call it, um, rubies and stuff. Oh wow, our sea truck is actually far away. Yeah, I was just looking for resources. Oh yes, I was following this thing also kind of somewhat but it's stopped here I think I lost it Did I seriously just lose that spot? Okay, let me find it again and I'll bring it back. Still searching though, but I found... Okay, so that's definitely... Dangerous in an unfamiliar environment. Bridge of caution. Okay, so stay away. Definitely stay away from that thing. I am so I'm, as I said, I'm still looking. Okay. So I came back to this spot hoping that it will help me, but yeah, still searching. So we'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, I finally found it. So, um, I've been looking all the way over here because that makes sense from Delta Dock. If you follow a straight line, it should be around here. That's how we got to a mega station. But apparently it's down here <laughs> where we are now. What was that? Anyway, um, so down there you will see the light. Um, so if we head down here... There's the one light, and then the other one should be around there. And then we are too deep. Or did I have it the other way around? Well, anyway. So there's a one light. 
Oh, he's down there. There's another one. Oh, do I have another battery? Oh no, it's empty. So we have to make haste. Okay, so where can we go in? Oh, moon pool. Customized pawn suit. No, she's right here. Okay, so let's find out who the mysterious lady is. Oh wow, this place had had some better times. Oh, even barnacles. Let's go say hi. Probably not going to be happy about us, but oh well. That looks funny. I told you to stay off my land. Marguerite. You okay. trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. And that's an interesting creature. So I'm guessing that's one of the ones we'll meet on top. Test overdrive module. Snow fox. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, we can take that. Nice. New technology acquired. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. Hmm. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much. But I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Interesting, okay. Prawn suit assessment for owner doesn't want you messing around. Okay, good to know. Um, let's see the other things we got. Um, exploitable, flowering spore. Oh, I found this under water. Also using advanced material production. Okay. And vehicles. Let's see. Snow fox. High speed hover bike. Onboard headlight will make you look cool. <laughs> okay. Snow fox. Other ground vehicle or rabbits in its headlights. Okay, cool. Uh, sea glide, sea truck. Let's scan this thing. Assessment avoid. If entering snow stalker territory is ne is necessary. Sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks. Okay, so that's when I'll start using flare flares. That is. Okay, we can't get closer. Then this thing starts 
growling at us. So let's not go there now. So this is an ancient tablet. So interesting. I see we just got a big room. Glass ceiling. Flowering spores. Okay. What else did we get? Snow fox. Okay, so we need a few more of those. Sea truck perimeter defense. Ooh, that will be cool. But still, we need those things. Large room glass. Okay, but do we have a large room yet? No, we do not. Maybe we can scan this one from outside. Vending machine. Okay, let's scan this room from outside. Maybe it will help. I know. Go on, scan this. Doesn't she have a charger maybe that we can use? I know this room is much larger. This one. Cool. Large room partitions. Okay, what's down here? Okay, I'm hoping f for a battery or something because we need. Um, to charge our thing, spy pinglets. Technology acquired. How does this do nothing? Still suit. What does that do? Ah, we unlock quite a few things. Spy pinglet. England remote still suit reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean drinkable water okay it's weird Do we have place oh yeah here interesting yeah <laughs> I don't know if I'll be willing to drink my own sweat but okay fine <laughs> okay so um, I think we're done here let me head back and we'll get you at base. It's contaminated from no less than four different bodily. <laughs> to make the most of the <laughs> sample flavor neutralizer can be activated at start of flavor neutral. No models. Okay, cool. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so. Let's head back. Uh, maybe I should just go grab some air in case. Okay, so I'll meet you back at base. Okay, so we're back at base. One of those vicious looking creatures was on our tail the whole time. Not the, um, not the whole time, but some from Delta Station Dock to about down there somewhere I lost him. So he's swimming basically just as fast as we are in a sea truck. So I realized I could, that don't need to craft this. We already have this. So we can just put this in. So let's access the upgrades and let's put that in. So now we have some threat protection. Great. So I'm charging the battery quickly. Let's see quickly. I wonder if we can plant these things. Okay, so we can't plant that. That's fine. Nope, we can't plant this as well. Okay, cool. So, we can't plant anything yet. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's a thing. So, I'm going to spend, I see the episode is almost done, so we can't go do the next thing. Go do the next thing that I was planning, and that is going to take the laser cutter way over there. So, what we'll do, I'll quickly build what I'm planning to do off cam and then I'll bring you back. Hmm. 
that's cool. And then I'll show you what my plan was. So I'm going to extend this with one um, glass tube. Put a T-junction in, or maybe yeah, one glass tube and then a normal tube. So that I oh, so that I can add structural support to it. And then on top of that, hello. See, he's bringing me something. Thank you. Now I like to see monkeys. Can't I give you anything? Anyway. Um, and then a T junction, and then two moon pools next to each other. And so now that we have a big room, we need to scout a new base location. Or we can just place it in there. Yeah, that could work. It can actually fit right in here. That could actually work, yes. Anyway, we'll get there. Then we don't need to build our little complete base. So let me quickly build this part and I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, so the base expansion is complete this side. So we have a two moon pools to the sides and I'm not 100% feeling this to be honest oh here's that glowy thing remember we brought it um, it doesn't fit in the fish tank or the aquarium so yeah unfortunately so um, As I said, I'm not really feeling... Oh, thunderstorms. How this works out, so um, the room is currently there, our sleeping quarters. Power generation is there, water purification is there, and this is an empty room. And then we have our stairwell thingy, basically. We have the control for the docks and then we have the entrance this side so the moon pools are over here cool same that side and then we have a view back towards our base even though we only see struts basically <laughs> then we can exit again or can go up, we can sit here and we can have a look at the docking things and the rest. Um, I put the lights there trying to see if we can see a bit clearer what's going on there but unfortunately that's not working too, too well and then we have we're coming back on our base and I connected that hallway with this hallway I was thinking okay so move the aquarium to side and I was thinking putting our bed here and then this will be our sleeping quarters and then that can be the water and I was thinking maybe making another power generation this side because we are running out of power quite quickly with all these things and for anybody knowing me, I kind of like symmetry. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. So I'm thinking we should definitely look, locate a better base. Okay, so maybe something around here. With a nice lights or something. Don't know. And... Um, That way we can restructure the base. So what I'm thinking is making this one lower. So there will be another <coughs> excuse me, another um, multi-purpose room here. And if okay, everything needs to go lower. That we can have another multi-purpose room on top as well. And then we can make that our sleeping quarters with a glass roof etc and then this one 
So basically the same as this, right? So just another room on top of this, but unfortunately at the moment, if we put another roof on top of that, it's too close to the surface, and I do not like that. So that means everything needs to go down. And then when that happens, we move this piece down as well, and we'll have a corner. We'll change where this um, connects. So there shouldn't be anything in here. So let's do that. Let me show you what I'm thinking, what I'm talking about. So we should put that there. And then we put the moon pool. If we can fit it. Why can't we fit that? Seek fluid and take. Do I have fluid? Nothing. Okay, so we probably need to do this. Okay. Then turn it. And then we can put the moon pool. There we go. So something like that. So that will be a bit clearer, I think. Then we can see what's coming in and out. Currently we can't really see if we sit. But with this one we can. Or, oops, we should make this observation at the same level as that and put the entrance at the top I think that might actually look better but in any case I'm just rambling and talking about things that doesn't really matter so in the next episode we'll come back I was rethinking maybe we should go check out that before we go check out the laser cutting parts because that is part of a story and maybe we can do both in the same time but either way we will have to keep our laser cutter on us from now on out so we can leave our base building tool and we take our with laser cutter oh didn't we i don't think we've crafted it yet actually but while we add it let's drink some water Go. Vital signs stabilizing. And tools, laser cutter, there it is. So we need two dynam diamonds and crystalline sulfur. Let's quickly do that. Sulfur is here. Two diamonds. There we go. There we go. Great. Okay. So, yeah. Let's call it an episode here. I'll, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll go explore Architect Artifact X3J. And then after that, we'll go check out the laser cutters. But, yeah. As I said, we'll call it an episode now, for now. Thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!